It's in moments of desperation and fear, when bad results are provided by the doctor, when my child is struggling at school, when I'm at odds with my family, when COVID won't go away and I'm tired of the changes and things that are happening in the world around me, when elections point to a culture that I don't agree with, it's in these moments for people who live without Jesus Christ as King, they want to know why it is that Christians can still have peace. When the doctor comes back with bad news, how is it that you still have peace in the midst of that? When the person that you had voted for wanted to get elected isn't selected, how do you still have peace in the midst of that? See, because the world around us, those without Christ, they can find peace in those things. What they want to know is how do you have it without the conditions working out the way you want. And if you're a follower of Jesus today and you're listening to this, I want to encourage you, don't diminish that in any way. It is a gift that Jesus has given to you. His peace he gives to you. Freely he's given it to you. And so don't allow yourself to join in the world around you that becomes unhinged, anxious, bitter, divisive in these moments, but instead be at rest. Be at peace in Christ who is king, who has his purposes and his plans in this very hour. And be that prophetic voice that brings peace to your neighbor, to your other family members, to the community around us that's able to say, no, my peace is rooted in something much more than an election, much more than the conditions of the world around me. My peace is found and it's given to me through Jesus Christ. And I walk in it by being in step with the Holy Spirit.